The transition from the St. Clair River's deep channel towards the shallow flats consists of an edge, a lip carved by ice flows and current. Some areas along this line are clean, most are weeded, but be assured, somewhere along this interface during the summer months, schools of smallmouth bass will be holding tight, migrating periodically up on the flat to feed. The trick to catching them is finding them. And what I do is simply get on the edge and go. There are a number of search baits you can use up on the flats and across the edge. But today, I'm covering water with a smaller profiled vibrating jig, Z-Man's Chatterbait Minimax. Yamamoto recently came out with a smaller three inch Zako swim bait, which makes a perfect size trailer for this bladed jig. There we go. I just found some. I just found me some. Look at that beauty. <laughs> On the edge of the channel. Oh, gosh. Oh, yes. Very nice. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. St. Clair River, smallmouth. On the Chatterbait Mini Max with that little bitty three inch Zako swim bait on the back. That is the absolute perfect trailer for these micro sized vibrating jigs. Yes, sir. The beauty about fishing in the current is that the current will dictate where the fish will hold. Smallmouth like to park near the strong current, but not in it. So what you want to look for along the lip are spots where there are current breaks, eddies created either by weed beds or bottom contour. Bait fish schools will congregate in open eddies within the weed line. Furthermore, these open areas where the growth is sparse provide a path for the bass to easily travel up and down the lip, foraging on the bait fish, then retreating off the edge. Right on the edge of the channel. They move up, they move down. And they ain't everywhere. And they're not always in the same spot when you come back either. <laughs> I've learned that lesson. Here we go. Oh, another good one, another good one. <laughs> oh, they're holding right near the channel. Up, just right up on the like five foot of water off the channel. Up here. Oh, I'm supposed to swim in the net. Like that. Ah. <laughs> ah. Yes. Nothing wrong with that one. Nice, pretty clean fish. You like that? That little Zako? Again. The three inch Zako swim bait makes the perfect trailer for downsized bladed jigs. Just look how in slow motion, with every kick of the blade, the segmented body of the Zako allows it to tightly shimmy like a natural bait fish. Moreover, the smallies love this downsized version. One tip I'll suggest that lessens the wear and tear of the trailer is I'll often super glue the trailer to the jig head. This is something I'll do that lengthens the life of several soft plastic baits. I throw my bladed jigs on a seven foot medium heavy bait casting rod with the reel spooled up with 20 pound Seaguar Tatsu fluorocarbon line so I can have the upper hand on these river smallmouths. But again, 
What you need to do to find them is just cover water. Sometimes you'll find them way up on the flat feeding and sometimes they're tightly grouped on the lip. And at other times, they're deep in the channel. But that's for another video. Lake St. Clair, St. Clair River, and all the channels that go with it. Thank you. <laughs>